In this video, we'll learn to represent discrete data in tables. What is discrete data? Discrete data is represented using whole numbers, not decimals or fractions. And the type of data that we'd represent using tables vary a lot. So we could have maybe sorting different colors of cubes and creating a table with that data. So showing exactly how many of each color we have, we could represent migration data for a country, we could represent a range of information and data using tables. The example that I will use is that of the number of learners doing a specific course. So we'll have course as the heading for a column so it could be a level one course level two or GCSE so if it's just these three courses that we offer that's the ones that I'm going to show or oh, if it's just these three that I'm interested in then I'll show just those so I will draw a line next to it then same thing underneath so I will separate each of these with lines in between it's not going to look perfect here because I'm using a marker so what else did we say course and we'll write or represent the number of learners so with the ruler I would continue the line and then join all of these together at the end and finally I'd have the totals row so total so if I'm told that we have 432 level 2 learners 604 GCSE learners and 250 level 1 learners so I will place under level 1 I'll place the or next to level 1 I'll place 250 level 2 that's 432 and GCSE that is 604 now we'll work out the total so I've lined them up so that's easy to work out 2 and 4 is 6 5 and 3 is 8 2 and 4 is 6 and 6 is 12 so 1286 learners in total doing these three courses so it was important to line these up correctly so we split these into categories so whatever courses we offer we show them one by one so each within each of these boxes or cells and we'd have the correct heading so that's course because all of these are courses and then what we were interested in was the number of learners so I wanted to show that for each specific course so next to each course I'd have the number of learners and that would be the heading as well of that column and finally I'd want to show the total so how many learners are there in total now it's really important that we also have a title so that the person who's going to read the table they know what we're talking about so I know we've got courses we've got number of learners but where are these learners what are we talking about so I would perhaps say number of learners a 
enrolled on level one, level two and GCSE maths courses at let's say Mars maths training provider or whatever it might be so that shows exactly what you represent when it comes to the number of learners within specific courses and how you and how you represent them